my house now, they're sending just random packages from Amazon. Random stuff. They're not addressed to us, but okay. they are definitely our address. We called huh. Amazon and we said, hey, these aren't ours. And they were like, no, they're yours now, so you can go ahead and open what, them. What kind of stuff, Rick? Well, there's one box that just had uh, fake eyelashes and hemorrhoid cream. So I don't really want to know about what? that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you were, that's what you wanted to do? You know what, Rick? I was like, I'm not going there. We are going to get through this opening piece. <laughs> Kim, put me up to it, okay, Brandon? I can't do anything. I'm the hemorrhoid stuck. cream or the I'm stuck itchy in an bottom? Vortex. <laughs> it's when your bottom's itchy. Hemorrhoid cream, kids. <laughs> I'm gonna put right there, like, a, like a disclaimer. <laughs> Kim, Kim, this is Kim got, led us to this. This has got Kim written all over it. <laughs> we were mostly normal. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, Rick, it is amazing. How quickly things are delivered nowadays. It's, yeah, it, no, 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 no. it's faster than when we grew up. When we, we tried to order something, uh, we, we waited two weeks. So we got really good at, you know, just waiting and yeah. getting excited. And I feel like so many people are just like instantly entitled. Do you know what that word means? Because I should have been dinged. <laughs> yeah, you should have. So they even came out with this other thing now. It's called instant delivery. Have you ever heard of it? No. Tell instant me more. Instant delivery. Hold on. What's something? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> My phone. Good job wrestling that out of your pocket. Bam! I got you. Uh, what's something that you want, like, right now? Your, your most mm. heart's desire. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what would be amazing, Rick? Mm -hmm. McDonald's French fries. I would love to have some McDonald's French fries. Hold on. Okay. Done. Really? <gasps> nice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on. That's incredible. Are there even fries in there? Show me. Fresh. <gasps> fresh, fresh, mm. fresh. I can smell them right over here. Mm, mm, so good. So good. Those are so amazing. Wait a minute. You're going to share some of those, right? Are you going to share some of those? You were going to share some of those. Nope. You're not going to share some of those. <sighs> Rick, <clears throat> what do you think makes a good friend? Well, when I think of friends, I immediately think of Batman and Robin. Nice. What about Timon and Pumbaa? Buzz Lightyear and Woody. High five. Woo! That five for you? Yeah, absolutely. No, too slow. Right. There's Kim and Ron. Phineas and Ferb. Elsa and Anna. Nice. Yes, siblings can also be friends. Luke and Han. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Ian and Barley. Who? Uh, onward. Pay attention. Oh, Be Howard. with the times, Brandon. SpongeBob and Patrick. Brandon and Rick. Can I have some fries now? No. <laughs> <laughs> James um, and Peter. That's good. Disciples of Jesus. And John was also there. You got the Zebedee brothers and Peter. But not Andrew. Peter's brother, Andrew, his younger brother, no, no. No, he wasn't allowed to be friends with the, the close friends with Jesus. Oh. They're always like, they climb up the mountain, and then they're like, Andrew, why don't you stay down here? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on reading that. But it's, but it's true that God does call us to be good friends. Absolutely. Because right here in the Bible, Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12, there's a great verse. So if one falls down, his friend can help him up. I love that verse, right? That's right. Because that's what the essence of friendship is, right? Yes, is uh, helping... falling on our faces and having someone there to pick us up. Uh, who knew the Bible could be so much fun, kids? That's true. Yeah. yeah, and don't forget, when there's three, you turn into a sailor's knot. <laughs> and that's our show for this week, kids. <laughs> we gave up early. <laughs> Lauren said to keep it short, and we did. All right, so <laughs> friends, friends being there for each other, it, you, can't, you can't just do life by yourself. Right. There's, there's so much to life that we discover about who God is through other people and being around other people. And having friends along this journey and is one of the best things that I've ever had. I'm sure that's the yeah. same for you. And uh, I just, when I think about all my friends, I'm, I'm always thankful for the things that I learned from them, but also the ways that they helped me. Yeah, Rick, you might even say that uh, they provide influence for you. An influence. They're an influence on your lives. But How many that, times does she get a date me while I try to define? You say the word so many times, but it doesn't change influence, the fact that you've been influence, influence. dinged. 
Tell them what. Tell them what ding means. Look right at the camera. Like ding okay, okay. is when somebody hits a bell. <laughs> no influence. When you say the word influence, you said tell them what ding means. No, oh, did I? I yes. don't know what I'm saying. You also anymore. called me Brendan I, earlier. Did I, bro, Brendan? I do have a friend named Brendan, and it's very difficult. But I. I and it's, Are you gonna share the hold fries on, yet, or what? All right. So hey, you're supposed guy. to say this influence thing. So tell them what influence means. <clears throat> influence is when somebody leads you. One way or the other. And it could be good or it could be bad. That's true. I mean, we just don't want anyone to just have friends for the sake of having friends. That's right. n- that's not the point. And there are friends out there that might um, lead us to making choices yeah, and decisions that aren't good for us. Yeah, but absolutely. most of all, I think God calls us and wants us to have friends that are of good influence. That's the new word you've yep. learned. And that's yep. why I can say it without getting dinged. And they want you, the, the, those people want to help lead towards a way of living that's honor, uh, honors God and pleases him. And uh, I love having those kinds of friends around. Those, those are the most awesome friends. Absolutely. There are friends, though, that you definitely, like, you kind of want to stay away from. It reminds me of, like, Star Wars. Like who? So it's like in Star Wars, right? There's that guy, <laughs> yeah. right, who walks into a cantina. You know what? A, Ooh, a cantina. cantina is a, a jazz club where aliens play saxophones. <laughs> Jazz club. <laughs> nice. Like that, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's so, good. But not in that movie, in another movie. Okay. And, and this guy walks up to Obi-Wan and he's like, hey, you want to buy some death sticks? <laughs> and it's like, death sticks? It's a terrible product. <laughs> right. Who would buy a death stick? It's got death in the, in the name. name. Oh, it's so bad. And then Obi-Wan's like, I don't want to buy any death sticks. And he uses the force. And the guy's like, I, oh, you don't want to buy any death sticks. And it's like, yeah, no, right. no kidding. No, I don't want to buy any death sticks. <laughs> Great. That's terrible. Can Is I, it, and sometimes it's really obvious that you, you know, you don't want to. Can I have? No. No. Mm. You don't, don't want to be friends with those people. They're just not good people. They're oh. bad guys. Like Darth Vader, right? All right, Rick. Yeah, we get it. Don't be, don't be friends with, with bad guys. But listen, Darth Vader's not a bad guy. What? Yeah. I sense Darth there's Vader. still good in him. Darth, well, okay, that's true. Which movie were we talking about, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, yes, okay. The, Darth Vader ended up good in the end, but it, it took a lot of people. But I wouldn't necessarily want to be friends with Darth Vader, uh, you know, when he was <laughs> Darth Vader. That's my best Darth Vader voice. I Rick, you want to watch what you say, because he's right behind you. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh. There was one left. That's it, man. The rest of them are all over the floor. Sorry. Sorry. My goodness. All right. Well, wait. when we're talking about, like, yeah, maybe you're like, you've seen Return of the Jedi, and you're like, hey, I know that Darth Vader, you know, there's still good in him. Right. Right? That he turns to the good side in the end. And, you know, we, we can't just say that we want to just be friends with people that never do anything wrong, right? We, we know that there are people out there that need good friends, and we can be those friends to people. And so it's important to remember, if we're going to be a good influence to other people, we need to do that with help. We can't just do that on our own. So we have to be careful of who we choose as a friend, but if we see people that would benefit from having good friends, we need to get help. We shouldn't do it alone. From a responsible adult, not your Amazon service provider. Brandon, what are you looking you for? You know what, Rick? Friend? Yeah, tell me. I'm glad you're asking. Yes, I know you would. <laughs> I made this list for you. Oh, wow. So, you I just want to start off. So, it's important. Honesty is obviously very important to me. Dude, any friend that ha- is honest, that's a good friend. Right? Absolutely. You wouldn't want your friends lying to please you all the don't, time. Please don't no. lie to me. Because that, right? that, that, just, that hurts the relationship down the road. We've also got integrity, right? <laughs> oh, integrity. Oh, I have to define that. Mm. that Rick, that's help a challenge me out. What's one. integrity mean? Integrity means doing the right thing when nobody's looking. I also, putting others first is huge, right? When I look for friends, I want somebody who's going to help put me first, that right? makes me, Yeah, like makes me think of like when we're playing Xbox together, Absolutely. how you let me be first player. Player number one. Player exactly. number one. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an awesome way that you show me that you, you not, not you just care about me, but that you also let me You're have things that me. we both want. Yeah, the things that are even important to you. That's true. Right. right. Also forgives. So for all those times I didn't let you be player number one, you don't hold a grudge against me, Rick. Never do. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, can grow a mustache is pretty important. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, lastly, uh, this one's pretty important, too. Shares French fries. Wow. I'm not even sure where to go with that. Okay, but Rick and I are good friends, obviously. Great friends. Great friends. <laughs> you know, Rick, it's not just about having friends. It's also about being a good friend. When I was in school, uh, I had some friends come to the door, and uh, they knocked and asked my mom if I could come out to play. And that, that was such a good feeling of being wanted. We need to choose our friends wisely. And so when I think about uh, the type of friends that I'm looking for, it's that they're thinking of me, and I need to make sure that I'm doing that too. So I got you a little something. What? You did not. <gasps> I did. Are those my those are my fries, Rick. You're the man. I would high five you right now. I know, but you just eat them. They're they're good for I'm you. Totally going it, to. See, they have your death sticks. <laughs> <laughs> friends, uh, but it, we can have fun if fun, we we can have fun as friends. And right. It's, it's so important to remember that uh, friendship is all about having fun and being there for each other. Absolutely. Uh, but it's important to remember when we're having fun to think about the other person, to think about maybe how uh, the teasing, how we're having fun might affect the other person. So we need to, we need to be careful on, on thinking about each other. And that's what makes a really good friend. Yeah. Never hurts See, to get McDonald's fries from your never, friends either. Never hurts, guys. Never hurts to bribe your friends with McDonald's fries. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you too, Rick. Well, that was... Yeah. <laughs>